Greetings and welcome back to my channel. This is Ham Radio Test and Review. And my name is Dave. My call sign is November 8 Delta Alpha Victor, N8DAV. My name is in my call sign. Today, I have a special antenna for us to test. It is a Nagoya NA320A. That's a tri-band Nagoya antenna. It is. Uh, it has a lot of great reviews. A lot of people say a lot of good things about this. So I'm going to be testing it today to put it to the test, and uh, we're going to find out how good it really is. So hang on and sit back and relax, and I'll take you through all the specifications. So here is the antenna. It comes packaged in a nice green plastic uh, package. It is an a, a original and authentic Nogoya. I bought this directly from B Tech, which stands for Baofeng Tech. B Tech is a uh, American company, and they are a truly American company. So they only sell authentic Nagoya products. You will note that the silver printing on the bottom of the antenna uh, is usually means that it's uh, authentic. Plus, we have the good QR code here that actually works. And then, of course, you can see that uh, B Tech is actually uh, selling these, and there's the uh, PR code for that. And this is specified as being 50 ohm impedance, a power rating of 10 watts. I measured it out at 16 and 7 eighths inches long. It's a rubberized whip with a plastic tip. And it, in this particular one has an SMA female connector and it's specified out at 144, 220 megahertz and 440 megahertz, triple band. So it uh, is specified as a quarter wave on the two meter band, half wave on the 1.25 meter band, and 5 8 wave on the 70 centimeter band. The package comes with this little piece of paper, and on the back side is taped a little rubber grommet for you to put on the bottom side of the antenna in case you need it in order to fill in any spaces that might exist. It says on here, if there is a gap between the antenna and transceiver, please use this rubber gasket to seal the connection. I've already put one of my own rubber gaskets on there because the one that came with it, I didn't really care for. So here's the antenna. As you can see, it whips around quite a bit. It's very, very flexible. But you can see the silver lettering on the bottom and you can see the QR code also. Here is my test setup. This is a Baofeng UV17 Pro GPS. Puts out around five to six watts, and we have that connected to our Surecom SW102 uh, SWR meter, and that's going to our signal stick magnetic mount on a cookie sheet. And as you can see, the antenna is has a small adapter, and yes, I know, I do not like using adapters when testing antennas. However, it may change the SWR, but only very, very slightly. First up, we are testing the NA320A tri-band antenna from Nagoya on the two meter calling frequency. And we are getting an SWR of 1.23 and a power output of 4.53 watts. Next up, SWR on the 70 centimeter calling frequency. We have an SWR of 1.35 at 3.48 watts. Okay, next up, we have our SWR test on the 1.25 meter national calling frequency. We have an SWR of 2.20, power output of 5.68 watts. And last but not least, we are going to test this antenna on the GMRS radio frequency channel 16. And we have an SWR of 1.02 and an output of 3.42 watts. Next up, we are testing the Nagoya NA320A using the Nano VNA antenna analyzer. As you see from the picture, you will see that we are now testing it on the two meter band from a range of 144 megahertz to 148 megahertz. 
and we are getting an SWR at the low end of the band at 1.376, at the center of the band 1.320, and at the high end of the band 1.448. Next up, we are going to use the antenna analyzer to test the antenna on the 70 centimeter band. Okay, as you can see, we are getting an SWR at the high end of the band of 1.593. At the center of the band, getting an SWR of 2.80. And at the low end of the band, 2.347. Next up, we are going to test the Nagoya NA320 on the 1.25 meter band. All right, the results are at the high end of the band, 2.658, at the center of the band, 2.370, and at the low of the band, at the low end of the band, 2.039. And just for the heck of it, we are finally going to test the NA320A Nagoya and the GMRS band. And here we go. All right, at the low end of the band, we are at 1.211. Center of the band, 1.203. And at the high end of the band, 1.153. Next up, we are going to do the transmission field strength test. We are doing it with the Nagoya NA320A tri-band antenna on our Baofeng UV17 Pro GPS on the 2-meter calling frequency. Next up is our field strength test on the 70 centimeter calling national calling frequency. Next up is going to be our transmission field strength test using the 1.25 meter national calling frequency. And last but not least, this is going to be our field strength transmission test on the GMRS frequency channel 16. Okay, I'm back out here at Pioneer Park. This is Dave, N8DAV, Prescott, Arizona. Uh, today we are finishing up our testing of the Nagoya NA320A. This is a tri-band antenna, and we're going to try and figure out how good it really is going to transmit and receive. So, here's what we're going to do. I have set up a simplex parrot repeater on my base station on frequency 147.480. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to transmit to it from the park here, and I'm hoping to get a response from my repeater. This park is set up specifically because um, we have a lot of hills, a lot of buildings, and plenty of power lines in between here and my base station. It's about three and a half, four miles. And so I'm going to test to see if we can get to the base station and if the base station can get back to here. I'm using two UV17 Pro GPS uh, handheld radios, and this is the Nagoya N8. 320A tri-band antenna on frequency 147.480. This is a test. This is only a test. This is a test of an Nagoya NA320A antenna at the Pioneer Park. This is only a test. N8DAV. 
test. This is only a test. This is a test of the Nagoya NA 320A antenna at the Pioneer Park. This is only a test. NADAV. Okay, you heard that it was able to get out. However, you also heard a little bit of static. So I'm going to rate the performance of this antenna, antenna at about 7 out of 10. The signal stick that I tested previously um, was about a 9 or a 10 out of 10. Uh, so it did do a little bit better on this test. However, um, the SWR for this antenna is actually pretty darn good. And I would recommend it for uh, just about any use. Um, but I am going to do one more test, and I'll get back to you in just a second. So because it's a tri-band antenna, it's supposed to work really well on 1.25 meters. So I'm going to try hitting a repeater that's about 20 to 25 miles from here. It may be line of sight. Yeah, I believe it is line of sight. So we'll see uh, how well that works on the 1.25 meter band. This is N8DAV looking for a radio check. Radio check. This is N8DAV. Does anybody out here hear me? Yeah, hi, Dave. This is AI7SY Chuck. You're full quieting and good audio. Great. Thank you very much. I'm testing a little Nagoya NA320A antenna on a little Baofeng HD, and I'm sitting over here in Pioneer Park, and I just wanted to see if I could get out to anybody. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. This is Dave and Prescott, N8DAV. Have a nice day. 73. 73, Dave. Uh, that Nagoya is doing real good for you. I got a bag full of clones of those that actually are made by, I think, the OEM for Nagoya, and they work just as well. But that, yeah, that little whip's doing good for you. Talk to you later, 7-3, AI-7-SY, Chuck, clear. So, as you can see, that was tremendous. That's full quieting, 20, 25 miles uh, to a great repeater up on Mingus Mountain. We're doing really good on, on the 1.25 meter band. So, this antenna has performed very well. This is uh, Dave, uh, N8DAV, Prescott, Arizona, and I will come back and talk to you a little bit more about my feelings about this antenna. So what did we learn today from all of our testing? Well, we found out that the Nagoya NA320A tri-band antenna got very good SWR readings on the 2-meter band, the 70-centimeter band, and the GMRS band. It, however, it did not do so well on the 1.25 meter band at being just over 2.0 to 1. So, I would highly recommend this antenna, actually. Um, it did very well uh, in the SWR in the um, main three bands, if you want to include GMRS. And it uh, just barely over uh, 2.0, a little bit, I think. It was 2.2, I believe. Um, over uh, and uh, on the 1.25 meter band. I suspect most of you probably won't be using it so much on the 1.25 meter band. And if you do use a, uh, that particular band a lot, I would highly recommend that you buy a dedicated 1.25 meter band antenna, such as the Signal Stuff Signal Stick, that they have uh, a 12 inch uh, dedicated 1.25 meter antenna. So, um, as far as tri-band antennas go, this is an excellent antenna. It does very well. We had very good um, uh, reception uh, from the repeater on my base station out at distance. Uh, there was a little bit of static, uh, maybe some static, but still, uh, it was very, very, very clear. So, uh, And then I also did a um, radio check on the 1.25 meter band to a repeater that was about 20, 25 miles as the crow flies. Uh, we got an excellent full quieting at the repeater. So I think uh, this would be a good antenna for anybody uh, to buy. I believe it's about $21 on Amazon. So if you're looking for a good uh, antenna, you don't mind the uh, extra length. It's about almost 17 or almost 18 inches. Um, then I suggest uh, that this be the antenna for you. All right. This is Dave from Prescott. Arizona, N8DAV, signing off, and 73s to you.